Hello, and welcome to another Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes module tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at Pattern Hypercube. Now, Pattern Hypercube is, as you might have guessed, a Pattern Cube based hypermodule or hypercube. The, this means that we're going to have to uh, deal out with rotation and stuff like that, so. It's gonna be a bit confusing, but it's generally not that bad as long as you're diffusing in game. Uh, first of all, it follows your cursor as you can see if I spin around. Um, you can do rotations on the cube by clicking the left button to be the first axis and the right button to be the second axis. You can also go in 3D, that will change the individual cube. There's a left and right button uh, 40, uh, in 3D button. In 4D, the left and right buttons will change the position of the current cube. When you're in 3D, it will change the actual cube, like what symbols are on it. Uh, and while in 3D, doing rotations will rotate the actual cube. Note that uh, when you're in 3D, the whiskey axis goes away, as there you're inside of a 3D space, not a 4D one. And you can't do um, two of the same axes, that will just not do anything. So, first off, you are presented with two cubes. One that has already been placed, uh, and one that you can move around. So first off, uh, oh, we need to find the cube that has already been placed and find that in the manual. So, I th think that's the one. Yeah, there's one unique face on uh, all the cubes, so you see on this one, there's the three lines getting progressively thinner, that's this line right here. I'm gonna highlight that in red to show that this symbol is on the red cube, because the, the cube is red. Uh, and then we need to find uh, one of these possible nets in here. Do note that, look, if I refresh the page, uh, page um, pay close attention to the symbols, and you'll notice that they change. For every time I refresh the page, they change. That's because it's a different segment um, each time, however, nothing actually changes. So, the actual specific cubes change, like the things on here, however, the answer will not. So, just keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, your manual will not look the same as um, the one I, uh, is on screen. So first of all, we need to find any cube in here that has a symbol present on the middle here. I see these two cubes um, are valid. Uh, I'm going to start with this one, the one in the middle. So, the way that these things work uh, in the manual is that these cubes are connected at one face. Uh, that face is the moon. Let me find the moons. The moons, which we see on the bottom. Or which will now be on the left. They are attached to this cube, which means that the cube has to be on the magenta face, because that's the thing that's actually touching it. Because, you see, the cube, if you were to, like, remove these dotted lines and just suck the cubes together, the moon would be touching the face uh, of the opposite side of the spoon. So, that's where they actually line up. So, what we have to do now is, once we've aligned them, you see, the moons are touching the opposite side of the spoon. That means that the spoon has to be on this face where the house is, because if that's the case, then the opposite side of the spoon, which will be this inner face, will be touching the face where the moons are at, which will mean that this will make sense. So we go in 3D and we find the cube that has uh, the arrow, the H, or the spoon. Uh... Here, the H. So, um, here we have the H and the spoon. The spoon needs to be like so. Um, note that these axes, while you're in 3D, will change depending on how you modify the 4D space. 
So there's no reason to memorize what, e what each uh, button does because you can just do X-ray Yankee. Oh, that's wrong. X-ray uh, Yankee X-ray, and then it's uh, reverted. So, um, uh, the opposite side of the spoon is touching the moon. Yep, that is correct. Now the arrow has to be on the same side as the arrow, and the H has to be on the same side of this box with two lines. That is this position. If we were to un... What do you want to call it? Uh, Undeform this into a normal cube, you see that both of these are the same way. Like, if you go to 4D, extra whiskey, you can see they both are uh, facing towards me. If I do it like this... So right now, this gets deformed, this is undeformed. It's facing this way, and the um, arrow's pointing down. If I do this... The box and the triangle are pointing the same faces. So this would be the correct answer because um, the opposite side of the spoon is touching the moons and the H and the um, uh, whatever the symbol is are both on the same side, on this case on the top and here on the bottom. Note, individual symbol rotation does not matter at all. If, if we were to say that this symbol was rotated 9 degrees clockwise, it would have zero um, change on the module. So as we see right now, this arrow, or actually if you do this, the H uh, is pointing inwards, like the top of this H is pointing towards the cube. It's not in the manual, however that doesn't mean it's going to be an incorrect answer. So. You can rotate all of the symbols on the manual, like as long as they're on the same face, any amount, and the answer will still remain the same. So now that we have this, I'm going to highlight this in red, and now before I do anything, I'm going to find my unique symbol and highlight it. Uh, the unique the unique symbol is now on the magenta face, so we'll have to find that. That is this one. I'm gonna highlight that in magenta. Alright. So, now that I've done this, I can continue on another face. As long as one of the two cubes um, anywhere in here are present, you can make the, um, the thing. So, I'm gonna do this one. Uh, that involves the magenta, so I'm gonna move that into the middle by doing a Sulu, that means the Sulu axis is going to morph, morph into the plus whiskey axis. This is going to push the red into where the sign is now, and the magenta is going to be pushed into the middle. Um, now, I want uh, on the opposite side of the eyes, I need a check mark. So I need to find the eyes. Where are they? The eyes are here. Which means I want them on the opposite side, right there. You can see the opposite side of the eyes, which is this over here, is where we want the check mark to touch. So now we have in the correct space, we can go into 3D. And now we need to find the correct cube net. Or cube symbols, not this one. Not this one. This one. This one has the spades and the rocket, which is what we want. So the check mark is what has to be uh, touching where the phone is. So let's try random things. And now the check mark is in position because the opposite side of the the face opposite side of the eyes, which is the H, is where the check mark is touching, which is where the check mark is touching. Now we just need the arrow, which is on the back side. Let me quickly. Yep, which is right here, it's where I want the spade to be. So if I do like this, nope. Yep, so I want the spade to be pointing like this, and the rocket should be pointing where the spoon is at. So you see the spade and the arrow match up, and the rocket and the spoon match up, which is what we have in the manual, which should be correct. And it agrees. Now we're gonna find our unique symbol, which is uh, 40 
whiskey x-ray and then x-ray Yankee Yankee that is the planet uh, that is gonna be highlighted in gray or black because that's the only highlighter color we have um, and now we can begin on a new one I'm gonna begin on this one uh, we need the red face red cube because that's the one that has this one and uh, where is that? That's this one. I'm gonna push it into the middle. Let's do the whiskey. It's now in the middle. I'm gonna rotate it to the side here. I recommend that you keep the window right in front of you uh, open. So, the opposite side of the moon. Moon is the one directly opposite. So I'm gonna turn like this. That is where the moon is. So we want it to be on the right. Because this is where the moon is, right on here. And the chrome symbol has to be touching on the opposite side of the moon, which is here. Now we want the correct net. That is the correct net. Now we want to reorient it. So the radio, no, the chrome sign, which is right there. Oh, uh, let's go around. So that the chrome sign is uh, touching that which is what we have right now. And now we want the radioactive symbol to be uh, near, uh, to be on the same side as the diamond. Put this down here, so we want the radioactive pointing down like this. And then we want this, whatever you want to call it, next to the three lines. So if we do extra Yankee, we can see this symbol and the three lines are also together. So this should be correct. Yep. We can highlight this in red, and we can see our new color. Uh, we have the paragraph, or the at sign. If I can find the highlighted color, there we go. Uh, now that we have this, uh, we are going to begin on whatever. We, we can begin on this one. We need to find the one that has the air of the spoon in that. I think that was the magenta. Yep, magenta has the spoon. Gonna push the middle in there. Yep. And the opposite side of the arrow. Which is right there. Which means, if I do so, yeah, The opposite side of the arrow, which means it's going to be on the top. So it means our cube has to be on the top here, like so, because the arrow is on here, and we want the opposite side of the arrow to be touching the, uh, the, what's it called, code editor, visual studio, that's it. Um, so now we're going to find the net that has the appropriate symbols. Nope. Yep, the ladder. And then we're going to reorient it correctly, so... Yep, now the uh, Visual Studio logo is pointing to the opposite face of the arrow. And now we want to spin it around so that the uh, ladder is on the same face as the... Or the spoon is on the same as the bottle. So the bottle, you see it's a little bit deformed, but that's what happens when they're on like an edge face. Spoon is next to there, if I go on 40, we can see the ladder is also to the H, which is also correct to the manual, so we're going to submit that. It accepts, we can close you, and I'm going to find our unique symbol, which is on the other side, which is this triangle piece, which is going to be on white. Oop. Now we are gonna do this one sometimes you can do multiple ones it does not matter in the slightest uh, we want um, this is on the white one which one we just created so we're gonna do whiskey solo all right I want the opposite side the ladder which is gonna be the one right that's the ladder which means it has to be on this right side outside the ladder this is where the house has to be 
So we're going to find the house. Uh, the house. The house is already uh, facing correctly uh, to the opposite side of the ladder. So now we just need to... Try around. There we go. The stick man has been to pointing towards the Visual Studio logo. And the bottle has to be towards the H with a line key through it, which is what we have right now. We're going to submit it. It accepts. We're going to find our unique symbol, which is the house, which is going to be on the green face. We have two cues more to go. And we're going to do this one. Uh, this is going to lie on the crown or the upside side, the clover. Where the clover is, I am not sure. So we quickly have to find the clover until we can proceed. How do I do that? Let me quickly check. So the clover is not on the symbol in the middle. Nope, so we're going to do extra whiskey. Is it on this one? Yeah, I know I'm ignoring the back face, but it's probably not going to be on the back face. No clover there. Oh, the clover's on the one we just placed. The, um, the green one. So you're going to do Whiskey Sulu. Where is the clover? It's going to be on the other side, so we're going to do extra Yankee, Yankee. There's the clover. The opposite side of the clover which is that one, so we're clearly going to do... Uh, I think that's good, yeah. However, this does mean that our thing has to be there, so we're going to do X-Ray Yankee, like so. Uh, now, the opposite side of the clover is where the crown should be, so the crown should be on this side, which is there. Now the crown is correctly facing inwards. Now we need the M and the stick figure to line up. Stick figure is on the top. And the M is with the stick figure. Uh, and the icon drop uh, is with the uh, this one we have right here. I'm going to submit it. And it's correct. Our unique symbol is the cherry. We're going to highlight this in red. And this is the last one we have left. Uh, this one has to go with the one we just placed. Uh, the opposite side of the bat symbol. Which is this one. Has to be touching towards this, which is correct. Uh, and then the clover, which is on the right side, has to contain the, the four. Which it does. Then the H with a key, or is that the, no, that's the grid, has the ladle thing, whatever you want to call it, which lines up, and this should hopefully solve the module. Is the right answer? And it does. Uh, this is how you do pattern hybrid cube, high pattern cube as I call it. Um, yeah, that was it. Thank you for watching.